I would recommend this one accessory to any one wheel owner, whether you have a Pint, an XR, or a GT. I bought one for each of my boards, and you should too. It's the Apple AirTag. Consider this a peace of mind purchase. So if your board grows legs and floats away, you can locate it. I hopped over to Etsy and bought the one wheel AirTag Keeper, or the Oak. The Oak is basically a 3D printed AirTag holder with VHB adhesive. The creator of the Oak recommends installing these under your foot pads, but I think you should consider placing them on a non-consumable part like your rails. Here's where my air tags live on my Pint, my XR, and my GT. I tell you this to give you an idea of where to place yours, but now that you know, please don't steal my boards. I can see where all my boards are in the Find My app on the iPhone. If you leave your board behind or if your board leaves you behind, you'll get a push notification on your phone that lets you know that your board grew legs and floated away. Wait, what happened to my XR? Yo, it shows my XR is no longer here. Let's go. Starting route. All right, so I'm using maps now to try to get my board back. Proceed to Kennedy Street Northwest. I hear the directions in my headphones. The directions are also showing up on my Apple Watch. Oh, I found my XR. Oh. Stop. Oh, she's not on my board anymore. And there's this precision find feature we can use when it gets close. She was running, she came from here. Huh, it was behind me. There it is! Oh, my XR. Found it. What? You're getting away on my GT. AirTags have a long-lasting CR2032 battery. They are replaceable. They should last over a year. Your iPhone will let you know when it's time to replace the battery. For my Android friends, Tile is the cross-platform alternative to the AirTag. It doesn't have all the features and I don't have personal experience with it. But if you're investing in a one wheel, I just encourage you to put something in your device that'll help you locate it in case it's lost stolen, missing. Lately, I've seen too many reports of stolen boards pop up on GoFundMe, Instagram, Telegram. It's just not good. A couple years ago, one of the riders in our community had his one wheel stolen at gunpoint. Daniel, who was in one of my other videos, was courageous enough to go and try to get it back and it's a story you don't wanna miss. Stay subscribed to the channel so that you can catch it when I drop that video. I heard this video is the one you should watch next, YouTube told me, so why don't you click it.